like a demon cat is calling out to me, come, eat me, take a bite of my little tail. Hi guys, me. Um, really happy, just came back from the museum. Uh, just before I forget, I want to give a shout out to my two nephews. Uh, who have been watching and liking my videos. Thank you very much, darlings. I really appreciate it. Um, this video is really a vlog of my visit to the Art Science Museum and an exhibit uh, centered on Mr. Buckminster Fuller. Uh, I hope you guys also enjoyed the footage that I took as I passed through Marina Bay Sands. Anyway, I received my package from the lot in my Adidas bike shop. Hopefully it fits. Looks like I would wear it. Let me go try. Yeah, I quite like it. Um, it's quite soft, not too thick, and it's perfect for what I want to play, use it for. Hello, hello, it's me again. <laughs> Yeah, the exhibit is entitled Radical Curiosity and the subject of the exhibit is Buckminster Fuller or Bucky Fuller as he was known. He was a visionary who wore multiple hats, a designer, inventor, physicist, mathematician, architect, poet, but he was best known for his design of the geodesic dome, Timexian house and other practical inventions used to solve some of the world's complex and pervasive problems, particularly related to cost and inefficiency including the shortage of housing, which were not only expensive but comes not were still is, but comes with the disadvantage of being rigid, fixed and vulnerable to external conditions, including wind and shock. The museum took care to detail key moments of his life in a timeline that intimated diversions throughout the course of his life, initiated by catastrophic experiences including the world war and death of his daughter. In a way, he was redirected throughout this universe to consider his life purpose or role in it, which he achieved through understanding how the world works and applying its structure to solving its problems. He was a big picture, systems and forward thinker. His conception of Tensegrity is used to construct geodesic domes and other structures through an understanding of mathematics, physics and nature to build a structure which maintains its integrity through strength of a curved surface as opposed to a flat one, strength of a triangle which is stronger than a rectangle, as well as continuing tensions and discontinuing compressions at mechanical equilibrium because tension is stronger than compression. This results in a structure that is responsive to outside forces and have the ability to recorrect itself. In other words, to spring back to its original shape without breaking. The dome shape is also important, not least because it allows heating and cooling to occur naturally, making, en making it energy efficient. But the dome provides the most space with the least amount of material in accordance to the principle by which he directed his life, getting more out of less. This geodesic dome is constructed with platonic solids or interconnecting lines that forms triangles or combination of any other polyhedron into a sphere such as the tetrahedron which has four triangular faces because it takes up the least volume with most surface or like Fuller's prototype dome, an icosahedron, polyhedron with 20 faces. In Plato's Timaeus, these solids were linked to four basic elements, fire, air, water and earth. The dodecahedron, which has 12 pentagonal faces, is associated with the universe. This is important because, according to Plato, and as Fuller observed nature, platonic solids are the basic structure from which all matter is made. Many years later, Kepler used platonic solids to explain the geometry of the universe, while scientists observed that pollen grains as well as molecules with the formula C60 share many similarities with the geodesic dome. The domes were constructed out of lightweight materials such as aluminium aircraft tubing and are stronger than traditional materials. Today we can find other examples of a dome on ceilings in other large buildings including towers, radar or weather stations and areas with extreme weather conditions because it is lightweight and can be airlifted to wherever it is needed. The dome is also extensively used by the US Marine Corps and also as tents for camping. The largest geodesic dome stands at 216 meters in Fukuoka, Japan. To solve the world's problems of home shortages, he invented a Dimexian house which was modeled after nature, specifically a tree with a trunk or central post that is staked to the ground and things hanging independently from it and connected to the crown using cables. 
The top section of the house can be raised or lowered to regulate airflow and internal temperature. The house was light, inexpensive and transportable. In theory, it can be transported wholesale all over the world. If you think about it, within nature, we find the evidence or result of tried and tested methods that is proven to both work and can withstand the test of time. Why not model structures after it? He also designed Dimex in cars and improved its navigation capabilities using trim tabs. Something small can still have a profound effect on something so large and change its course. Fuller saw the interconnectedness of the universe forming systems and within these systems how one can come to occupy different realms through which energy can flow. To illuminate this idea, this Krebs chart shows that science, engineering, design and art as realms are interconnected, informs, transforms into and revolutionizes another. Through science, knowledge is acquired, which is then used by engineering to develop solutions to existing problems. These solutions are taken by design and taken to its biggest potential, which influences human behavior. This is then analyzed by art through interpretation and repackaged in a comprehensible manner. This in turn inspires new scientific quests for knowledge. As the cycle runs, energy is produced and it moves from one realm to another. Fuller believed that it is not possible to learn less. In this pic, you will see the Tetrahedron City Project, an ambitious project which can house 1 million people and floating above water to solve land acquisition problems. Although it was never built, it would certainly be most useful in today's climate of sudden mass migration, such as from war or climate-related reasons. Because this work saves energy, especially when regulated as an entire city, it is an answer to the climate crisis. Such issues were important to him as he calls our planet Spaceship Earth, which, like a real one, if one part of a spaceship breaks down and not fixed, the entire spaceship risks destruction. From his life experiences, he developed into uh, an inspirational person who was more problem-centric rather than egocentric and in service of mankind. Einstein's theory of relativity is applied to his work and life. If you can't change the thing, as is the case with irrational human behaviour, you can change the environment and behaviour will follow suit. Of course, it's not possible for me to cover everything that was exhibited there in the Art Science Museum. I really like going there because of the ability to do hands-on activities, which helps to provide uh, or test for a more deeper understanding of the significance or learning points of the exhibit. I like museums in general because it always inspires questions and knowledge acquisition. I hope that whatever I shared with you today will give you the tools to have a deeper appreciation of Fuller's work, especially when you pay the museum a visit and be inspired to fix the world. Hooray! Uh, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you survived till now, congratulations. I um, hope to see you all next week. Gagamel. Hi, Gagamel. 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 Hi. Hey. Wanna say hi? To everybody? You have some fans. You have some fans abroad. I didn't bring any treats for you. I'm so sorry, darling. Because just came back. Gargi. Gagamel. Gargamel. Hi, handsome. Want to be left alone? Okay, fine.